Prank gone wrong, caught cross-dressing. I nervously adjusted the skirt around my waist, trying to look confident despite the unease churning inside me. Tonight was the night of our fraternity's initiation prank, and I had drawn the short straw, literally. My role was to dress as a woman and cause a commotion in a local store before making my escape. It sounded harmless enough, but little did I know how this night would turn out. As I entered the store, disguised in a wig, makeup, and a golden dress, I tried to blend in with the crowd. The adrenaline pumped through my veins, and my heart raced with each step. I carefully chose a moment to create the diversion, knocking over a display of products to draw everyone's attention. The chaos erupted as planned, and I took my chance to make a swift exit. But as I dashed towards the exit door, my skirt snagged on the handle, leaving me trapped and vulnerable. Panic swept over me as I struggled to free myself, but it was no use. My heart sank as I realized the severity of my predicament. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, a female security guard named Lisa approached with a bemused expression on her face. She couldn't contain her laughter, obviously enjoying the sight of my humiliating plight. Embarrassment washed over me, but I tried to maintain a semblance of composure. Lisa wasted no time in seizing the opportunity to exploit the situation. She offered to free me from the door, but only if I agreed to compensate her for the dress I was wearing. It seemed like a small price to pay to avoid further trouble, so I reluctantly agreed. I fumbled for my wallet, pulling out whatever cash I had, and handed it over to Lisa. She pocketed the money with a mischievous grin, clearly enjoying her newfound leverage over me. As if that wasn't enough, she demanded that I visit her at her home later that night, still dressed in a skirt, as part of her payback. Feeling cornered and desperate to avoid any more humiliation, I reluctantly accepted her proposition. Once freed from the door, I quickly left the store, my cheeks burning with embarrassment and a sense of regret washing over me. What had started as a harmless prank had turned into a nightmare I couldn't escape. That night, as I approached Lisa's house, dressed in the dress once again, I couldn't help but feel like a pawn in her twisted game. As I knocked on her door, my heart pounded in my chest, unsure of what she had planned next. To my surprise, Lisa greeted me warmly, offering me a seat and a drink. She seemed to enjoy toying with me, hinting at a future where she could expose my embarrassing ordeal to our fraternity if I didn't cooperate with her demands. Throughout the evening, I found myself engaged in awkward conversation, trying to navigate the strange power dynamics that now existed between us. The night dragged on, and I was eager to escape this compromising situation. Finally, the moment came when Lisa seemed satisfied with her control over me. She assured me that she wouldn't reveal my secret, but warned that she might call upon me for favors in the future. As I left her house that night, I couldn't help but feel like I had lost a part of myself in this ordeal. The fraternity initiation prank gone wrong had changed everything. It had exposed me to vulnerability, manipulation, and the consequences of my actions. From that day forward, I vowed to be more cautious about the pranks I participated in and to think twice before agreeing to anything without fully understanding the potential repercussions. I had learned the hard way that sometimes, the cost of a laugh and a bit of fun could be too high. And as I removed the wig and makeup, I knew that the memory of that night would haunt me for a long time to come.